All right, I'm going to read through the directions for the World War I map activity contest. It says, use the gray or white map. Be creative and artistic. Color things not on the list or additional information. Number one, shade or outline the central power countries all the same color or pattern. So you're going to look at these central powers, and let's say you choose blue. So Germany, outline it blue. Austria-Hungary, outline it blue. Italy, outline it blue. And they're called the central powers because you will find them right in the middle of Europe on your map. Step two, remember, pause this if I'm going too fast. Outline or shade all the allied power countries using a different color or pattern. So these allied powers, if you had blue for central, maybe use red for allied powers. All right, and the definition of alliance is countries teaming up for some purpose, usually protection or war. And step three says all these alliances and enemies. So A, B, C, D, E, and if you have it, you might have an F. Um, you're going to somehow show alliances and enemies. So alliances are like friends. So maybe you have a smiley face and you draw arrows between them or a heart or something to show that they are together. And then enemies, maybe you have a gun or a tank or a, um, you have... Um, you have a frowny face. So A says Serbia was upset with Austria-Hungary for taking land from them years before. Many Serbs still lived in Austria-Hungary. So between Serbia and Austria-Hungary, you want to show that they are enemies. Serbia had an old friend, Russia. C, Britain promised to protect Belgium. D, Germany was jealous of France and Britain. France and Britain had taken the most land during imperialism. E. Turkey, also called the Ottoman Empire, had many issues with Russia for taking their land. F. Britain, France, and Russia were scared of Germany, building up a large army. So A through F, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, five or six, depending on your copy, um, different friends and enemies marked on your map. And then step four, shows how strong or weak each country's army, that's the soldiers, and their navy was. That's the warships. So find a way to show who had the strongest army and who had the strongest navy, maybe the weakest ones. Show that on your map. This is how these armies looked in 1914. And then answer number five, what might start a war? And six, so you're writing in there. And six, you circle one of these. Which do you, would you use to describe Germany? A, powerful, having a major advantage. B, surrounded, having enemies on more than one side. C, small, short of stature, or less than most others. And then seven, what do you think would happen if there is war between the central and allied powers? So what do you think would happen? That's your job to determine. What do you think would happen? And that's it.